Phineas and Ferb is returning with new episodes. It's time for the latest news out of animation. Phineas and Ferb are returning to Disney. We're getting two seasons worth of new episodes featuring the classic duo, alongside a continuation of the more recent show, Hamster and Gretel, both coming directly to Disney+. Plus. That's 40 episodes of Phineas and Ferb having whole new adventures, along with another full season of Gretel, Hamster, and Kevin doing pretty much the same, only a bit more violently. Three full seasons of animation is a sizable investment when other networks are canceling shows left and right. However, in this case, that seems like a safe bet. Phineas and Ferb was a beloved show for the company and highly popular. The two got a four season run alongside multiple specials. They visited the Star Wars universe. They've met the Avengers. The announcement has a ton of people on Twitter really excited. Fans who are nostalgic for the characters they grew up with and viewers who are generally hyped for the beloved show's return to the Orlando International Airport? But not everyone is happy about it. Some fans are a bit more worried about the return. They enjoyed the last episode too much, feeling that Phineas and Ferb ended perfectly with no way for the story to continue. After all, they reached the end of that last day of summer. The show was always supposed to last for one summer vacation, wasn't it? Well, listen carefully to that final song. Summer is done, we've had our fun, but this isn't the end of our story. So for nostalgia's sake, let's just take a break, sit back, and take inventory. We've done so many wondrous things, and there's still so much to do. But I make the most of every day whenever I'm with you. Even during the show's ending, a return to the story was teased. This new narrative was always in the past. Perhaps we'll see a whole new summer for the characters to enjoy. Or maybe the premise of this revival will be a little different. Phineas and Ferb were never shy about defying expectations. No matter what the return will focus on, fans are gonna love it. This is a big day for Dan Povenmeyer, the creator behind both shows. The joint revival comes as part of a wider deal between him and Disney, and it leaves open a question. If these revivals are successful, what other shows could follow in their wake? Maybe we'll end up seeing the revival of Milo Murphy's Law, which was cut short at only season 2. Phineas and Ferb guest starred on that show, helping to fight a pistachio alien invasion, so an appearance by Milo and friends in this revival might draw some eyes their way. Fans are already beginning to hope. Let's just hope they don't make too many drastic changes, like the Velma Scooby-Doo spin-off that doesn't even have Scooby-Doo in it.